you guys, it's Britta. Um, I just wanted to show you my two peas order that I just got, and I'm actually really tired and want to go take a nap before my night class, so yeah. But I really wanted to look at my stuff and I really wanted to make a video of it, so that's what I'm doing. So excuse the bags under my eyes. Um, first of all, this is the box. I know it's huge. And it's actually pretty cool. It's an old and it's an American Crafts box. They have like the shipping stickers on it. And I think that's cool that they don't throw away all of their boxes when they can be used for shipping. Because they're still good. Okay, I'm going to take out this fluff very carefully. There are peanuts everywhere. Okay. So first of all, I got a corduroy album from American Crafts. I love these, and um, yeah, I have like four, and I think it's time for another one. So this might be my Australia album, I'm not sure yet. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay. Um, then we have some patterned paper. First of all, I got basic micro mono stickers, and I believe these are the uh, off-white ones, the cream ones. Um, this is from K Company, A to Zelephant, the wood grain paper. It was on sale when I bought it, and I've been wanting that paper since it came out. So. Um, this is from the Olivia Collection from Basic Gray, and I've used this smaller print on two projects already, but I wanted to get into big size too. Awesome. That'd be really cool. Here's one from the Oliver collection that I really liked. This print, the zigzags on the back. Um, and this is cool. I've never seen this company before until I saw it on two keys. Um, it's Echo Park Paper Company. And this is from A Walk in the Park. It's their flutter paper. Super cute. I can't wait to use this. Um, this one is by Echo Park and it's Sweet Summertime Collection. And uh, that's one side. That's the other. This is the Sunny Spots paper. Sweet Summertime once again. We have pink stripes. I love basic ones like this. And some Argyle. I've been really obsessed with polka dots and stripes lately. Um, another sweet summertime one. Some pretty flowers. I like how when you look at the pattern from really far away, it looks, it takes on a whole new life, kind of like an argyle type thing. You can see the process. And then on the back, there's a tone on tone argyle. This is a flower garden. This one is pinwheels from the summer, sweet summertime collection. I love this. I haven't seen too many pinwheels, which is surprising. I thought they were going to be huge this season, and they haven't really hit it big yet, but they're adorable. Uh, then we have Sassafras Indie Girl Collection. So excited for this. It's getting tons of press. I thought it was pretty gutsy for them to come out with one right before CHA, CHA honestly. Um, another one from the Indie Girl Collection. This one from Indie Girl Collection. I like this one. It's really, it's kind of weird. It's like 70s and vintage at the same time. Then we have ones from Studio Calico, which I ordered from yesterday, and I'm super excited to get my first kit from them. But these are from the Homefront Collection. This is Dollhouse. conversation piece. This is the back side and this is the front side. My mom has collected chairs since I was really young so uh, I have a thing for chairs now so whenever I see a piece of chair paper I have to buy it. It's kind of a problem. Um, this is floor plan. I love this ever since I saw it too. It's like this really cool pale blue and yellow mixture. Wood green is awesome. And then here's the back. Kind of a blueprint. 
This is from their documentary collection called Souvenir. Let's see the front. Let's the back. And I would have gotten more from them, but they were kind of sold out. But I got what I could. Um, and then this is just from Fly Kite. I've been wanting to get the 8x8 pads for the Fly Kite and the Thrift Shop collections, but I just cannot find them anywhere. They're always sold out. So I had to settle for a big foot like those. Okay, and now just keep going with the paper. How about that? This is a very big order. <laughs> I picked up some Hero Hues. This is the grass layering paper. And I have some of it um, from Archivers the other day, which now comes in um, it now comes in a, a lot of uh, like collection packs where they're different colors, so like all the reds, and that's really great. And this is really random. Um, okay, so I got a Care Bear Paper Capers book. I don't know. I, I didn't order it, so it's a gift, and it's actually really cute. Like you have uh, hearts, yeah, just kind of cute stuff. This would be super cute for like a little kid just as a present, as a birthday present for a girl. Oh my god, do a little. Wow, yeah, this is cute. It has vellum in it apparently too. Cool. Okay. Um. Then basics Manila paper pad. From basic gray. Let's see if I can flip through it here. No. <laughs> I'm sure you will be seeing a lot of this. Lots of basic patterns, dots, squares, grids, overloads. Okay, and this is the Indie Girl Collection pack from Sassafras. And it's super cute. I'm pretty sure this is going to be part of my giveaway that's coming up on my blog someday. Um, I've been collecting stuff for it, so it'll be a good one. And this is Hot Commodity, so I should be excited. Um, then I also got um, Octopus to Zelephant King Company things again. They were on sale. and. These are just too adorable for, I think I got them for like $1.50, and they make super cute cards. Look at the googly eyes. <laughs> and then I also got Sassafras Chartreuse Glitter Alphabet. I like the 6x6 size because you can fold it up, and that's probably what I'll end up doing. Okay. Then I got the American Crafts This to That Adhesive. It's, it's not a sale right now, but it comes with just an extra free refill right now for the regular price of $5. So I wanted to give it a try while it was a really good price. So I got the dots and the solid adhesive. They also have a stripes one, but I haven't been a big fan of stripes in the past. So I got these two, and I'll let you know how they turn out. I'm still in love with my ATV, but these are also nice size, and I can take them when I uh, go home for the weekend or something like that. Okay, and then this is very exciting. Um, I got the retractable craft pick because I'm always poking myself with mine. So I think this will be cool. It's my tonic. Um, the Tonic Studios Tim Holtz scissors. I know everybody has a pair of these and everybody loves them. So I decided to get them. They're Kush Grip, so that's kind of cool. And apparently they cut through like everything. So yeah, really excited about that to have another pair of scissors. Um, I also got a thing, the, what's this called? Classic Messages 2x3 stamp set. I already have this one, but this is for my giveaway. And I, I love this thing. It's like, you could use it on every card. It's ridiculous. Um, then I got Rhinestone Brads, the medium size from American Crafts. These are just, I'm trying not to get glare on there. These are just, uh, yeah, really simple, really cool, and I'm pretty sure they were on sale, so, yeah. And then we have, oh, this came off the package, um, a blending tool. I have two already. I just figured I'd get another one because 
might as well stock up because I have a hundred million colors of distressing. So, okay, that's a lot. I have like ten, but I seem to always be buying them, so I need more <laughs> foams and applicators. And then I'm super excited. Actually, I'll show you that one. second to last. Uh, I got the Punch ink from Hero Hues, Hero Arts. It's chalk ink. I have the. Uh, I don't know what the blue color is that they have. I believe it, I believe it's iris or cerulean. I'm not sure. But I have that one already. I've been playing around with it a little bit. This is the punch one, and it'll match the punch papers that I already bought. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and I'll let you know how it turns out, because I've heard mixed reviews about it. So. Um, then we have, let's see, Stencil Flower. It's a cling from Hero Arts. I've been looking at this like crazy lately, so... And then Sillyscape. This has been making its rounds across the Hero Arts Flickr group, and I'm just in love with it. Uh, Nicole McGurk did some really, really cool stuff with it the last couple weeks. So yeah, um, looks like that's about it. Um, it's just a lot of stuff, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a nap now. And I'm going to think about my giveaway because I'm really excited about it now that I got half this top. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And then always check out my blog, artistbysunshine.blogspot.com. Bye.